Morning guys. We're gonna let the chickens out this morning. In our pajamas. <laughs> It is not as windy as it's been. We will plant some of these uh, starter plants. Tomatoes, my peppers. These are all tomatoes. Broccoli. Get those planted in the garden. Oh, you ready? Yeah. All right. I'm ready. I blocked it off just in case we had some unwanted visitors. I don't know if that frame. You can open the gate. No, 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 no. Why not? That's what we usually do is open the gate. And no! Now I got to get over. Ah! It's going to be really muddy, Eli. Where's the bucket? Okay. Fill me up. Don't spill it. it all up. <laughs> you to dump all the waters out. See all the water? We should almost dump it into the pond. Let me do that. Okay, we can let them out. What are you doing? This is catch fish. <laughs> it's on. Yeah. It's on. Uh, you don't believe me? Chuck? You gonna touch it? Check it out. Try it. That's that. Try it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got you. No bits. No turn up bits. <laughs> no, I don't want All right. We've, Becky wants to do some mowing today, and the battery's dead on this guy. So let's get him hooked up to Becky's car here and get this battery charged. First time we've gotten this out this year, so. Let's clean the dust off of her. We gotta find the key. Yeah. Right here. I looked all across that wall. I probably took it out to your right when it started. I know, but I looked all across that wall, so as simple as that was for you, I had no idea where to look. Well, I thought it could be I a thing. If it was me, I'd be like, okay, that's there all. Oh. Uh huh, because you put it there. <laughs> but I don't know how your brain thinks. Oh, you've been married to me how long and you don't know? <laughs> All right, last attempt. Let's try to get this mower up this ramp so we can go get it repaired. It. 
All right, we got the lawnmower up in the wagon and we are going to head off and get it fixed. Mower's ready to mow. Go ahead, Beck. It's all, all ready right. for you. Time to quit today. Let's go do some real homesteading stuff, huh? All right, I'm gonna take some of these plants that we've started, um, the tomatoes, the peppers, the broccoli, and I'm gonna get them started out in the garden. I'm gonna start by moving these chives over to the pallet garden. I have a lot of plants to start, so I thought it, that would be a better spot for this my main garden that I could have a lot of tomatoes and peppers and stuff in. If the cat doesn't eat it first. I just put it in with the peas. I'm not sure if they're gonna come up anyways. Those are the ones I haven't restarted. If they do then I could just move them over to something else. I don't think it'll be a problem growing the peas in the in the chives together so Let's get these tomatoes started in here. I think I'm gonna start this end and work this way with the tomatoes and then maybe the peppers after that. Where are you now? Or do you live far away? Real quick, I was gonna show you. I went ahead and planted my watermelon. Got my two watermelons right here. And then I planted some peas and some more watermelon in there. And then I'm gonna fill in some of the spaces with some other vining plants. So I'm gonna go in, it looks like it's gonna rain, but I'm gonna go ahead and water everything, make sure everything is good and wet and it has a good start. So I'll start putting things away and probably go in and start dinner, so. running out of daylight here and we got a new tarp Woo -wee! that is great and I got a new tarp and these guys have this clear one which did wonderful over winter it's starting to start to fall apart here it's starting to kind of shred up at the edges we may have a rainstorm coming in tonight and I've only got maybe an hour left of daylight but I want to try to get this on this tractor real quick to get these guys all set up for summer because this will provide great shade and then it'll keep the bottom open for wind uh, so you can get some airflow at the bottom. This will cover them for shade, so it'll be perfect for summer. Got an eight by 10, normally get a 12 by 16. To cover this entire tractor needs a 10 by 14 foot tarp. But I think 10 feet long will be perfect and I think eight feet will get me right here to these posts. It may leave me a foot short on each side. I hope not, but let's find out if I got the right tarp. I may have to go get another one now that I think about it, but. Let's try this out. Come do this other side first. Come do this end first. Okay, so when you do these, Go yes, like please. This. Yes, please. Not your first rodeo, huh? No, you taught me enough. All right. We got a problem right here. These four. Well, that's these... why I was gonna see. That's why I was gonna work my way that way. It would have stretched it. Yeah, you're right. I'll get that on camera. <laughs> right. It's. I'm not recording right now. All right, well, I miscalculated just a little bit. 10 by 10 would have done it perfectly. So we end up having to use the eight foot part there and the 10 foot part over the top so it would get to that board right there. So I'm two feet short this way. So if I get a two by 10 foot strip or if I just get another eight by 10, I can just overlap it. It's not too big of a deal. It'll give them some shade 
it'll open it up right there at the end. If there's a big storm or something, we'll need to cover it up just a little bit more to keep them dry. I may put some over there, but we'll, we'll figure it out. So thank you guys for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate it. Of course, we always appreciate your likes of the video when you subscribe to our channel. And we love talking to you guys through the comments. We appreciate it. We hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you next time. Welcome.